If you could use only one currency for the rest of your life, which would you choose? For years, this answer has always been simple. Of course, it's the US dollar. The greenback is the world's largest foreign reserve currency, and every country from China to Peru has exposure to the US dollar for international trade. But what if I told you the world is slowly shifting away from the dollar? Over 80 countries, including the world's largest democracy, India, do not support sanctions on Russia, and this recent conflict with Ukraine has accelerated many countries to start exploring dollar alternatives. The days of US dollar hegemony are closing, and in today's video, I'm going to reveal what China, Russia, and many other other countries around the world are doing to prepare themselves for the future. But before I reveal China and Russia's exact strategy, let's go to the Middle East and examine some recent trends threatening the future of the dollar. I want to start with the Middle East because this is a region with deep financial, energy, and political ties to the United States. Saudi Arabia has been the key U.S. ally in the region for decades. 20 years ago, the United States trade with Saudi Arabia was five times greater than China. But notice how Saudi Arabia's relationship with China has expanded exploded in the past two decades. As of 2021, China's trade with the Saudis is now three times greater than the United States. In fact, China is not only the largest importer of crude and petrochemicals from the kingdom, it is also the largest purchaser of crude and petroleum products from all the Persian Gulf countries. China's position gives it incredible leverage in the region, so it shouldn't be a surprise if at some point in the future, Persian Gulf countries in China move away from the dollar and trade in a currency that is more in line with their interests. For years, the United States has been weaponizing the dollar and using it to force countries to adhere to America's agenda. Russia's invasion into Ukraine and the ability of the Western alliance to instantly freeze Russia's $300 billion of foreign currency reserves has made many countries worry they too might be the victim of sanctions of the United States. The only option is to diversify and plan for an alternative. Just last week, Iraq's central bank announced it will allow trade from China to be settled directly in Yuan for the first time. Iraq is experiencing dollar shortages after coming under pressure from the United States for trading with Iran. The U.S. imposes severe sanctions on Iran, and just last year, the U.S. Treasury began enforcing stricter controls on international transactions by Iraqi commercial banks. Essentially, the U.S. government forced Iraqi banks to comply with SWIFT regulations in order to access their own foreign currency reserves. It's wild to think the United States can dictate who Iraq can trade with, but this is a clear example of the the U.S. government using the dollar as a political tool to force change. As a result, Western sanctions against Iran has sent the Iraqi economy reeling. Over 80% of Iraq's daily U.S. dollar wire transfers could no longer be completed. But Iraq is not alone. Last year, the Egyptian central bank announced plans to move currency away from the U.S. dollar, while even strong American ally Israel added China's yuan to its reserve currency. But this is only the beginning. While the events of the Middle East showcase how nations are moving Moving away from the US dollar, the bigger story is out east and how Russia is turning to China's yuan in an effort to ditch the dollar. But before we discuss this, allow me to thank Masterworks for sponsoring today's video and explain how you can diversify your investment portfolio the exact same way countries are diversifying their foreign currency reserves. Last year, American portfolios lost nearly $7 trillion, and even China expert Ray Dalio described how the dollar global order is fading away and how this will further drag down the S&P 500. Inflation, job losses, and the upcoming recession are all directly impacting our wallets. Just last week, MarketWatch reported that over half of Americans making $100,000 a year are living paycheck to paycheck. But smart investors are investing in assets that rise even when currencies fluctuate. Masterworks is a unique investing platform that allows you to buy fractional shares of some of the world's most famous paintings. I partnered with Masterworks for over 12 months now and have referred thousands of subscribers to the platform. The company has now completed 11 exits and is continuing to purchase more art. If you're interested in learning how you can diversify your portfolio, simply click the link in the description to skip the waitlist and start your art investment journey today. So what is exactly happening between Russia and China, and how will this affect the US dollar in the long run? In 2022, central banks bought the most gold on record, with China aggressively stockpiling the asset. The reason for this is simple.
simple. Gold enables central banks to diversify away from assets like US treasuries and the dollar. China and Russia are the world's two largest producers of gold. But since Western sanctions hit, Russia can't sell its gold to the outside world like it used to. But to avoid these restrictions and keep its economy going, Russia has been secretly selling its gold to China. In 2022, China's gold buying from Russia increased 67%. But this is just the official number according to Russian customs. Some industry experts believe even more gold had been sold to China under the table. Gold is one part of the equation. The other part is the increased use of China's currency inside Russian borders. As reported by the Wall Street Journal this week, Russia turns to China's yuan in an effort to ditch the dollar. The article goes on to highlight energy exporters are increasingly getting paid in yuan. Russia's sovereign wealth fund is using the Chinese currency to store its oil riches. Russian companies have borrowed in yuan, and even Russian households are stashing savings in it. If we look at this graph that details which currency is used to export Russian products, we see that in the beginning of 2022, over 50% of Russian exports were settled in US dollar. The Chinese yuan was virtually non-existent, accounting for less than 0.4% before the start of the war. One year later, and over 14% of Russian exports are now settled in Chinese yuan, a substantial increase in a relatively short amount of time. It's important to note that Russians don't face an outright ban on dollars and euros, and non-sanctioned banks continue to do business in foreign currencies. But the trend is clear. The Chinese yuan, combined with the power of gold, is quickly becoming the one-two punch that China and Russia need to preserve their positions in the global order and compete against the US dollar. In previous videos, I've mentioned the BRICS alliance and how this alliance will change the US-led world order. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have formed an alliance that already represents over 40% of the world's population. In addition, there are over a dozen other countries around the world, including oil-rich Saudi Arabia, who are interested in joining this alliance. And this is where things get very interesting. Look at this graph showing the purchasing power of the US dollar. Over the last century, the US dollar continues to become weaker and weaker, mainly because it's backed by absolutely nothing. The US Treasury can and often prints as many US dollars as needed. Richard Nixon took the US dollar off the gold standard in 1971, and as of today, not a single currency in the world is backed by gold. But this is where a unique opportunity comes for China, Russia, and the BRICS nations. BRICS is planning to launch its own currency and back it with gold. It would be the first time in over half a century a currency is backed by the gold standard and immediately give it leverage over the declining US dollar. The next step of this plan begins on April 1st, when Russia officially launches a central bank digital currency, CBDC, of the digital ruble. 13 Russian banks are lined up to participate in the Russian CBDC, and unconfirmed reports state Russian banks are accelerating plans for cross-border payments, clearly to avoid Western-led sanctions. China is the world's leader in CBDC development, and according to experts in the digital currency industry, China is years ahead of both the United States and Europe in digital currency development. This realization has caused uncertainty in Europe, and now the EU is considering a digital currency to counter both the US and China's tech dominance. The European Central Bank is working on a digital currency as the region seeks to protect itself from tensions with China and the United States. MasterCard, Visa, PayPal, Alipay, and UnionPay now make up the top global companies for payments. The first three are American, the last two are Chinese, and none of them are European. This puts Europe in a vulnerable position and has as the US-China relationship is unlikely to improve in the foreseeable future, Europe needs to pivot. To do this, the EU is taking a page out of China's book and working on an EU digital currency. This move from the EU gives us a preview of what the future of our world will look like. More divided, more polarized, and more countries wanting to reduce their dependence on any one single nation, whether that's China or the United States. Moving forward, nations around the world will still use the US dollar, but no country will want a 100% exposure. Like a diversified portfolio of stocks, countries around the world will seek to break away from dollar hegemony and use a variety of currencies, including the Chinese Yuan and the new BRICS currency that once again will be the only currency in the world backed by gold. Everyone, thank you for spending time with me today here on YouTube. And a special thank you to Masterworks for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you click the link below to skip the waitlist and sign up with Masterworks today. And I thank you all for your continued support. And I look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.